been going on, y'all? Tech me out here, and it is that time of the year again. One of my personal favorites, Amazon Prime Day. So if you're not familiar with Amazon Prime Day, it's basically a mid-year shopping event, very similar to Black Friday. It starts at 3 a.m. Eastern on June 21st, all the way on up to June 22nd. So this year for Prime members, we can find discounts on 2 million items, which is about twice as many as last year. Now for this video, what I'm gonna do is break it up into two sections. The first part of the video being things to know, and the second being deals to look for. Now everything's gonna be timestamped below in case you wanna jump around, but... Let's get into it, y'all. So to have the best Prime Day experience, you're gonna wanna first make sure that you are an Amazon Prime member. Now, there are a couple of ways that you can go about getting an Amazon Prime membership. The first way is to sign up for a free Amazon Prime membership trial. If you're interested in that approach, I will have a link down below along with everything else that I'm mentioning in the video. But um, ultimately, I think this is the best way to go about it because then you can try it before you buy it kind of concept. But I will say I've been an Amazon Prime member for years. I absolutely love it because I love the free two day shipping. They also have other incentives for it. So if you're an Amazon Prime member, you could also take part in their streaming service, which is Amazon Prime Video. But if you do choose to keep the membership, you can pay for the monthly plan or the annual plan. You save the most with the annual plan, but if you don't want that commitment, <laughs> then go for the monthly. Now, the second thing to know is that out of all of the deals offered, typically the most heavily discounted items are Amazon items from their Echo devices to the Fire TV. Amazon has a ton of products, but if you've ever been interested in purchasing anything from the Amazon or Alexa lineup, now would be the prime time play on words there. Now would be the best time to do so because this is generally when they have the best discount on those items. Now Amazon and Alexa items don't seem to sell out as quickly as other items that are on sale. At most, the ship dates might get pushed back. So to have an even smoother shopping experience, I highly suggest that you make a wish list or a watch list. This is gonna help streamline the items that you're interested in so you don't have to go and hunt for them. You can have them more so centralized in one location. This could also help limit you possibly overspending by pretty much keeping you within a certain limit of items that you're gonna be shopping for. Now, when you find a deal that you like, just go ahead and add it to your cart immediately. Even if you're not sure if you're gonna get it or not, go ahead and add it to your cart. Because what happens is Amazon will give you 15 minutes to make your purchase. And if you don't make it within that allotted time, it's gonna go on to the next person. But at least you will have it in your cart because some of these items sell out fast. And when they do sell out, you then have to join the wait list. It'll put you in a queue to grab an item if it becomes available. And that's because of some customers, you know, adding the item to their cart and then not buying it. The people then on the wait list get the option to get that item if they don't purchase it. Now, even though it's Amazon Prime Day, other brands like to also get in on offering different sales and promotions and things like that. So don't just shop on Amazon. Also look at other competing brands like Best Buy, Walmart, Target, because they do run their own deal events to compete with Amazon Prime Day. So for example, like right now, I think Best Buy has the Roku Express for $29.99 and the Jabra earbuds for $179, which is a $50 discount. One thing that's good to do ahead of time is to look into bonuses and credits. So for example, Amazon is offering a $10 credit to support small businesses. You could also get a $150 Amazon gift card if you're approved for an Amazon Prime Rewards Visa signature card. Now this particular credit card can get you 10% or more back on select products during Prime Day, along with other year round perks like 5% back at Whole Foods. And if you happen to have an Amazon gift card, go ahead and add that to your account so that you're not waiting to the last minute to add it and possibly miss out on an item. Now the last thing I would advise you to do is check out websites that monitor pricing. Don't get sucked into the urgency to buy something because it's on sale. That is me. <laughs> Don't let it be you. So definitely use plugins or websites like Honey so that you can see the price trend of the item that you're interested in. Make sure you do your research. Now for the deals. This is this is where it gets good people. Let's let's get into it. Okay. Now these items are just a few that I know are currently on sale. So you're welcome to follow me on Twitter and or Instagram to stay updated on the deals that I find. But between the two platforms, I probably will be updating you more so on Twitter. Now some of the items that I'm about to mention are Amazon Prime Day deals, whereas the other ones are just good finds that I saw on sale. And feel free to at me on Twitter any deals that you find so that we can make this a collaborative experience. And I can just retweet it so that we can all enjoy. So the first item up for grabs are Apple AirPods with the charging case. Now these are marked down by 25% to 119. 
So if you've been eyeing them, now's the time to get them because we all know Apple products do not go on sale like that, like that. Before we go any further, I wanna take a moment to thank today's sponsor, Narwhal. They recently sent out the Narwhal T10 for me to check out. This is the world's first one robot vacuum and mop with a mop self-cleaning station. So the cool thing about the Norwell T10 is that it offers a hands-free cleaning experience. So you can use this periodically to like tidy up your house. It's really easy to set up. Literally all I had to do was plug it into the wall and then insert the vacuum into the bottom and let it scan the room so that it can map out the floor plan. The beautiful thing about that is instead of this going around and fumbling, trying to find, you know, where it needs to clean, it knows exactly where to go. There's no guesswork because it has your actual floor plan to know where to go. And it's able to do that using LiDAR. Now it does a good job in making its way around the room. And sometimes when it finds obstacles, it does, you know, have to bump up against it a couple of times before it realizes to go around it. But eventually it does. Now, like I said, it does vacuum and mop. So after it finishes vacuuming, there's a canister inside that you can easily remove and dump. That way you can go ahead and clean it out. And then when you're ready for it to mop, you just flip it over, remove the bristles from the bottom of the vacuum, and then put the mop pads up there instead. Get your cleaning solution ready, dump it in the tank in the back of the narwhal, and let it do its thing. Audible alerts and stuff that you get with this are so cute. Like, watch this. See you. <laughs> I don't know. It just sounds so cute. See you. <laughs> now, the one feature that I would love to see up here in the future is the ability to manually control it, like use a remote on your phone to tell it where to go. Now, if you want some more information on it, it will be linked down below in the description box. Another item to check out is the Insignia 43 inch Smart 4K Fire TV. So with it being a smart TV, you'll be able to stream Disney Plus, Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, Hulu, and a ton of other options. It also has the voice remote with Alexa. And on that remote, you can quickly launch apps with dedicated buttons found at the bottom. You can currently save 100 on it as it's going for 219. But if you got a little bit more money, I would suggest you check out the 50 inch TCL 4K Roku TV. So this is going for 320, which means you get a $29 savings. Now, one thing I like about this option is that it has the Roku TV built in it. And I'm definitely a Roku fan. It has one of the easiest to follow interfaces. So the fact that it's already built into the TV is a plus. Another item you might wanna check out are these TP-Link smart plugs. You can currently get these for $7 as they are being offered for half off. The nice thing about this particular one is that it has a voice control option as it does work with Alexa and Google Home Assistant. So that means you can control your appliances with your voice by turning them off or on, which you can also do from anywhere in the world. My personal favorite things to use smart plugs for are like lamps, my TV. You can even set a timer or a schedule for it to turn off and on automatically. Next up, we have the Roku Express 4K. You can currently save $10 on it as it's being offered for $29.99. Now, the nice thing here is that you do have the option to use one remote for everything. So you can power your TV off or on. You can control the volume to your TV as well as control your Roku device. And it has voice control so that you can easily search across channels. Power Beats. These are actually like one of my favorite pair of wireless headphones. I actually have them right here. I use these every day. They're currently on sale as well. They're going for $169, saving you $30. I love everything about these, minus the case. The thing I like about these is that it has the ear hook, so I have a more secure fit when I'm wearing these, especially if I'm working out. You can also control your volume and your media using dedicated buttons on either pair of earbuds, so you don't have to interact with your phone to do those types of things. And battery-wise, this gives you nine hours of listening time and more than 24 hours with the charging case. If you're in the market for some wireless earphones, I highly recommend these. Now, for those of you that are interested in getting into wearables, there are gonna be some sales on a few of those items as well. So first up, we have the Fitbit Versa 2. So this is gonna let you monitor your health and fitness along with your heart rate. It also has Alexa built in. You can even monitor your sleep and it can track your swimming. It's currently going for 149, so that means you get a saving of about $30. But if you wanna save even more money, then you're gonna to wanna to check out the Fitbit Charge 4 
score. This is again a fitness and activity tracker with built-in GPS. It can also track your heart rate, your sleep, and your swimming. So this particular model is going for $99.95, which means you save $50 here. Now for those that want to stay in the Apple ecosystem and get an Apple Watch, you might want to look into the latest one, which is the Apple Watch Series 6. Now this one is the GPS and cellular model, so that means you can call, text, and get directions without your phone being nearby. You can also measure your blood oxygen, check your heart rate, monitor your sleep, and it has the always on retina display. Now normally it's offered for $529, but you can currently get it for $459, which means you're saving $70 on this one. Now, if you're interested in sales on computers, you could take a look at the Lenovo Chromebook Flex. So this is a 13 inch laptop. It has a touch display as well as a keyboard. So you get that two in one design. It's slim and it's lightweight. It also has dedicated USB-C and USB-A ports. So this is gonna be great for casual or light use at home or on the go. It normally goes for 429 but currently going for 398.74 so that means you can currently save around 31 dollars and if you've been eyeing those m1 macbooks definitely check out the ones offered on amazon on prime day because the 13 inch model is going for 1349 saving you 150 dollars i know personally i sold my 16 inch macbook pro for the new 13 inch m1 macbook i use it daily it's the computer that i do all of my primary work off of even editing this video will be done on that. So it definitely gets my recommendation. Now moving on to some Amazon products. The Echo Show 5 First Gen, which is basically Alexa with a screen so that you can watch movies, movie trailers, TV shows, or even the news. You can even control your smart home with your voice and you can connect with others using video calling and messaging. Now this is currently going for $59.99, which means you get a $20 savings. Now the Echo Dot. It's a smart speaker for $44.99, but the best deal here is if you need two or more because you can save $50 off the original price by using a code at checkout. Now this next one, y'all, I didn't even know it existed and it is a pair of Echo Buds. <laughs> so with them currently being $79.99, you'll save $40 on these, which I found out is the lowest price ever that they've been offered at. But with these, you have active noise cancellation. They also work with the Alexa app to stream music, play podcasts, it has five hours of playback on the battery and 15 hours with the charging case. And with a 15 minute quick charge, it'll give you two hours of playback. Now these particular earbuds, they will work with other assistants such as iOS and Android to support Siri and Google Assistant. But yeah, that pretty much sums up the deals that I currently found. However, feel free to drop some that you might know of down below in the comment section. I'll be sticking around there for a little bit after the video. But if you're interested in checking out some more of my videos, I will throw them on screen right now. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.